Hello and welcome to Let's Try, a series where we try new and upcoming indie games. Tonight, let's try two parsecs from Earth. Two parsecs from Earth. That is a mouthful. It is a recent release by developer ABX Game Studios and was released by the same publisher as a recent game we did on stream called Devious Dungeon 2. Which was, uh, it kept me playing. Kept me playing. So we're, we're going to see how this does. Obviously different thing. Cypress, of course, wanted to get an immediate root. Hydrate in here. We are, of course, live on stream and on, on, on Twitch. And you are always welcome to join us if you want to. Let's dive into this. Two parsecs from Earth. The robot Z3L1 is going to achieve its mission. But something is going to delay it. What the hell was this black hole? We have no idea putting one in a game. It could have prevented us from playing for days. I was almost on Earth to finish my mission. There were only still two parsecs to go. Fortunately, I survived the explosion of my ship. Great. It looks like a script written by a five-year-old child. But it could have been worse. I could have woken up on a beach having lost my memory. Self-aware script? We always, uh, we always dig that. I'm gonna lean back and get into this. Damn my cargoes. I'm going to have to get it back for my mission on Earth. I'm safe, but lost on this planet with the sweet name of Domidium. My circuit board seems to have been shocked and I'm slightly injured in my left leg and I can't jump. How convenient to prevent me from going anywhere for the moment. Stop trying to jump. I told you I had a sore right leg. What? I said left? Anyway, I don't jump and that's that. Well, we're gonna- we're gonna fall then, that's fine. Well done, you figured out how to move me on your own. For the rest, everything is indicated in the pause menu, assuming you know how to pause a game. However, just because it says how to jump doesn't mean I'm going to jump now. I'm really disappointed I can't have him, uh, try to jump into the spikes and have him just, like, crap talk me for that. Uh, yes, game, you're remembering the correct game. I don't think I should get too close to creatures like this, the one near me. Why not? What could go wrong? Or we're just gonna keep on dropping down. Go up or down to make me go up or down the ladders. My leg hurts much to jump. It doesn't shock anyone that I can use ladders. Honestly, I really like this. This is something different for a Metroidvania style game, is that we actually have ladders to use. Look, the entire Spark Pro community is full of uh, unique and fascinating people yeah we can't jump yet so you can see his little his left leg is injured like I, I dig this art style okay so we don't want to go anywhere near the bugs the bugs are death I some weird graphical oddities with some of the blocks in the background yeah I, I agree with anatomy the thing is awesome Oh, by chance, I came across a ship that I could use to leave. The game is already over then? Obviously, the ship doesn't start. I need three new batteries. Yes, I am a ship expert. Fortunately, I feel there's a battery nearby. The others should not be so far from here. From with an E. In addition, I absolutely must get my cargo back if I want to be able to finish my mission on Earth. This is Wally and the White Robot's Child. I feel that, bed. I feel that. I still haven't seen Wally. Or I haven't caught the whole thing. Something to heal my leg. A spray and it's good. I'm finally going to be able to jump. It would have been easier if I could rebuild my leg like my cousin T1000. Hopefully people got that reference. Oh man, we, we jump. We got hops. Press jump to jump, even if you probably already did to get the cargo on the left. <laughs> Look how high we jump. 
Yes, I know you need three batteries and at least three cargos. Okay, so this is gonna be our end game point. She was called Eve, that sounds right. I think I've seen the end of Wally. -E. It's weird seeing the blocks load in with like weird lighting stuff. Uh, I don't wanna mess with the B. I can't just drop off the ladder easily. That's kind of a shame. I'd like to pass, but I don't know how to do it. What do you mean you don't know how to... What? I kind of want to jump into the spikes. Oop. Sorry, but I don't want to bend down to pass there. We'll see later. Ooh, there's a black hole up there. jump over the porcupine well we're up here let's go use down direction without moving to better see where I'm going to jump it should avoid making me feel like I want to die every time I jump oop yeah nice meta tutorial notes no I'm, I'm appreciating this guy's running fast do they run fast when I'm on there nope he just runs fast okay That's right, game. We unlocked the jump. Barely the first skill that you've already died several times. The uh, the translation on this game might be a touch iffy. I don't know what it's going to be like when the game will become harder. Neither do I, little buddy. Neither do I. Does this say point? Choose and renounce. I really want the dash. I really want the dash. Dash. Choose dash ability, not in New Game Plus. How do I dash? Oh, my dash just takes me forward. Press dash to make me do a dash on the floor or air and avoid these peaks. Peaks? Spikes, come on. You don't mind, but I don't really like dying again and again. Can I dash through enemy? Nope. No, we can't. We cannot dash through an enemy. He's looking over the edge. Hope I can't double jump out of there. Uh, I went up before, right? When in doubt, go up. Always the correct choice. Could never go wrong. That'll get me back there. We don't need to go back there. Let's go explore this area. Uh, I don't want to deal with the bug. Oh, the bug has left us alone. Ha! Tough luck, bug. Uh, it's the translation game. The translation is, uh, questionable. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Nope, not the right choice. I don't even know where I'm going. Full on, nope. The dash was definitely the correct choice for entertainment. Nope, that wasn't far enough. Nope. I think it meant redeem, but I'm not sure. Uh, sometimes you get really weird trans. So like, uh, most of my most of you in chat know that I've been doing some translation work for a game that was originally written in Chinese. And by translation work, I mostly just mean localization because uh, Google Translate is fortunately. Oh, that's how I was supposed to do that. Okay. Uh, because Google Translate is super helpful, and also the preliminary translation already been done, so it's mostly been a localization thing rather than a translation thing. And sometimes you just get, like, really weird uh, words that sometimes foreign speakers or auto-translate will mistakenly assume. Is the intent... No... Oh no, do I do I still have the box that was from up here? Oh, 
they'll, they'll mistakenly assume the word works or, or some word uh, in the native language. Some word in the native language carries a slightly different meaning or a slightly different connotation in that language. Or that word has become the typical... I just made the same mistake again. It's, it's become like the typical word used in that language in games, even though it's not applicable. So it's, it's fascinating to see the translation on this game. Be... You know, why, why is the word renounce used there? And I don't know without seeing the original script and without having the native language in front of me. I can't go farther to the right. I'm about to get wrecked by this porcupine. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I dashed right into the bay. But yeah, my guess is kind of redeem was the word I was supposed to use. It's also neat, this is a metroidvania where you can't hurt things, or at least like so far we have we just have to avoid enemies. I thought it was the down one again for the umpteenth time. Okay, this is the down one. Okay. Almost like a Meat Boy 2.0. It's not Meat Boy. That's not a good comparison. I haven't actually played Meat Boy yet either. That's something else I need to uh, get on my list. Oh, no, no! Gosh darn it. Like, Meat Boy was explicitly hard was part of the thing with Meat Boy. This is, uh, very approachable. This... I, I get that you're referencing the hardcore platform focus, but I feel like that's not the... There's gotta be a co better comparison to make. And I'm not sure what it is yet. But yeah, definitely in the sense that it's, uh, breaking the... How do I get out of here? Hold on, once I'm okay, I can I can get Okay. Time to have some some faith to see if I can do this properly. Darn it. Welcome back, Nebros. Cyprus, just because I haven't played games doesn't mean I don't know a thing or two about them. Like, I hadn't played Hollow Knight until a few months ago, but I still understood a lot of the... I, un I understood a lot of the basic idea. I didn't understand that it was quite so open of a Metroidvania. Which was a lot of fun, but also made it really, really easy just not to not find your way, you know? Okay, there we go. There we go. Bly Manor is okay. Hill House is certainly better. What are we talking about, Raster? Oh. Good job, me, jumping into that, that B. Uh, we came from the up top. Ooh. No, I cannot pass. I'll have to come back when I'm sure I can pass without risk. Can't do anything there. Nice stone, I wonder what it's for. Maybe I'll find out later. 
Yes, maybe we'll find out later. Okay, so I can't... Where am I going right now? Yeah, I can't do anything there either. Time to climb back up. I got this one. I got this one. Okay. We've done everything we can over here, I think. Answering Danny. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Alright, that's where we just got our ability. So we go back up here to climb around a little. I love this dash. This dash feels so satisfying. Oh, uh, where do I want to go? Am I just going up here? I think I'm going up here. I kind of wish the screen was wider so I don't I didn't have to just like do the zoom out thing so much. I can't even get up to that. I don't know how to use that stone. Uh, let's stay as high as we can for the time. Oh, I right, I've been here before, but I can now get over to this black hole. Which just takes me into this fascinating area. Ah. I mean, we just got to watch me. Nebros, thank you for recording the clips. It has been far too long. And we don't get enough of them during Indie Night. Is that gonna be- nope, 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 nope. Die and retry again and again. Getting those achievements. Oh, that's a tight jump. Okay, so I have to complete my jump before I, uh... I have to complete, like, the arc of it. Why can't I see the up high area? Or is it just zoom me down? Yes, game. There are, there are games out there where you get achievements just for getting wrecked repeatedly. I, sh I should have saw that coming. Really should have. The music of this game is also really simple. It's just like sound effects almost. Where can I go from here? Okay, how do I go down here? I, mean, I think by now a lot of you guys know how much I love having dashes in games. At least all my regulars do. Ooh, this is gonna be tight. That was fun. That was... Oh, I'm so glad I didn't that, that porcupine. I just... No! Oh, okay, we're fine, we're fine. You know, just to be on the safe side. It saves between rooms. Why why am I trying to get it all in one go? We're not trying to impress anybody. There we go. Okay, where am I going now? It's great in Harmony of Dissonance. I, st I still... So I played through Harmony of Dissonance when I was in New York City. Uh, when I was there with Talakahath. And... Am I going left again? I don't remember where I've gone and haven't gone. Got a map? It's actually, yeah, let's actually open up our start menu. Deaths 22. Uh, map is my Y. We 
We can zoom in on this cute little guy. Okay, it said... I thought my map was Y. Do I not have... Do I have to unlock my map? I have to unlock my map. Um, I was playing through Harmony of Dissonance when I was in New York City. And so, like, while I was on the subway and stuff was a lot of the time I was clocking in that. And... I feel like this is a spot I don't need to go because I already was here and I got something. Oop, that's something I can get. No, it's not. Just up top area. And the thing that bothered me about Harmony of Dissonance was mostly that you die in so few hits. Like, it felt like every enemy I fought was just like... Or every, every boss fight felt like you die in four hits. And it might have been true outside of bosses as well. I don't remember anymore. No, wait, it wasn't Harmony of Dissonance. Was it Portrait of Ruin I was playing through at that time? Which one is Harmony of Dissonance? We're gonna, we're gonna disrupt this so I can do some Google really quick and refresh my memory. What were the three DS ones? DS Castlevania. Harmony of Dissonance is GBA. I'm getting mixed up. I'm getting mixed up. Uh, I, I love Dawn of Sorrow. It was Portrait of Ruin I'm thinking of. Did I never play Order of Ecclesia? Which one's Harmony of Dissonance then? Did I ever play Harmony of Dissonance? Sorry guys, we are, we are uh, definitely going to, to burn some time on this. Did I ever play Harmony of Dissonance? What were all the GBA ones? GBA Castlevania. I feel like I did play Harmony of Dissonance, but I don't remember. I never played Aria of Sorrow. I know that. I think I disliked Harmony of Dissonance, but now I don't remember why. Oh, we want to stop to appreciate those uh, glowing roses. Cypress. Uh, where were the... So we got some flower life over here. These nice glowing bulbs. We have some more glowing bulbs here. Oops. Hey. We have these shrubs, these bushes. We got whatever these tall, pointy things are. We have where are you spotting the 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 glowing ro the glowing glowing flowers. Sorry, I would bet that was glowing roses. What a B. Oh gosh. See, this is this is just showing that my memory is, is starting to take hits. Ooh, we have not been here yet. My circuits are getting better. I can see the map of the place by pressing map. And I can even see the loads that have already been collected. Obviously, there are only the areas already visited, and there is no indication if you can or cannot have the other cargoes. That is some clumsy translation stuff that... Ooh, this map's a good size. And it shows the batteries on the map, and I don't know what the bottom section is. See, now I'm trying to remember Harmony of Dissonance. It's Portrait of Ruin I, I detest. I don't remember Harmony of Dissonance anymore, though. I'm pretty sure I had Harmony of Dissonance for a while. Oh, I mean, that was funny. Uh, I can't get up to the top area. Press zoom to zoom in. It's not use. It's it's no use full, but the graphic designer did a great job, so I have to highlight it. Well, Cypress did want us to uh, stop and smell the uh, roses, so. Oh, I need I need to I need to stop and uh, zoom in the next time we have some flowers on screen. Second ability area is the name of this place. Properly descriptive. Can't go anywhere here. That is a red portal down there. Interesting.
At least juking those bees isn't too difficult. Oop. Cypress, this is a genre called Metroidvania. Uh, based on the game Super Metroid and Castlevania, later uh, solidified by Castlevania Symphony of the Night, which uh, we actually will probably stream at some eventual point, partially because I might want to do a crowd control run of it. And because my boy Future Guy is going to appreciate it if I do someday. I don't know what this glowing thing is here or these eggs, but we're zooming in on them. Ooh, I nearly hit those spikes. Ability. Going through some floors or going through some walls. Force. This is a cool, um... This is, this is cool having those choices between stuff. It actually does branch it out quite a bit. So the, the thing with... Did I miss Tasteless Boar following? Oh no, hey, Tasteless Boar was hosting me. Tasteless Boar, thank you for the host. It's how smart it is to make you a damaged robot. Makes power-ups make sense in context. Yeah, no, I mean, that, that's the kind of thing that always is an interesting about the, uh, so, so Cyprus, the, the, uh, the Metroidvania genre. So, Metroid is all about getting upgrades that let you progress through areas. So, like, be able to jump through this floor. Oh, I can't. Press down and jump to go through. Okay. Being able to pass through these floors, for example, is a very Metroid concept. The Castlevania is more the gameplay. Ghostbusters area. When there's something strange in your local stream, who are you gonna chat? Moderators! <sighs> okay. The goal this time is to not jump directly into enemies or into spikes. Ooh. Goodbye, B. Uh, is that my way back out? No, it's not. And so, uh, we actually probably should play... Obviously, I'm a huge fan of the Metroidvania genre in general. It's what I stream the... I mean, yeah, I should have looked at that. That would have been smart. Uh, it's, it's obviously the game genre I enjoy the most. Uh, Mega Man is more just action general action platformer, but it's still all kind of the same. I mean, Metroid Metroidvanias are a subgenre of the action platformer. And it's definitely the, the genre of game I enjoy most and I'm the best at. Dang it, I did that again. And uh, chat, is there anything else I'm kind of forgetting about the general explanation? Incidentally, I've never actually played a Metro. Oh, the other big thing about Metroid is that you have a big interconnected world. Can we get some Rift Tilt in chat, please? I wish I could just drop on the ladders. That's the one thing I'm missing. <laughs> game using his uh, expletive emote. I appreciate that game. Expletive is very much your tilt emote. I thought I was far enough to the side. I'm not really sure about a whole lot of the other sub subgenres of action platformers, Danny. 
Metroidvania is just a very popular subgenre that has been very well done. Oh, I did it again. <sighs> Sparkbot wants to pet the porcupine. I mean, we are playing a Sparkbot right now. I just, I just wish we could turn our, our cute little robot here blue. Okay. This lack of music kind of bugs me after a little while. Why is this tilting me? Like, I full on don't know why this, of all things, is just grating on me. Like, it's just me being impatient, really. some patience. Patience, making sure I'm inside this. Coming over here. Grabbing a crate, dropping in here. I'm kind of annoyed that the uh, you have both the walls and the floors in this area. This is where I, where I died before, right? I think it is. That's probably what tilted me, as I had gotten so far, and then I just failed to catch up to it. Ooh. Like, my, my choice in which one I chose doesn't matter. Oh, I need both to get through there. Interesting. But, like, otherwise I can still navigate this the same. I do... That was completely my fault. That was completely my fault. Yeah, the, t the tilt growl. I don't... I don't growl often from tilt. That, that shows you where my headspace is at. But yeah, you have, you have like traditional action platformers like Mario or Donkey Kong. Where it really is about just timing your jumps and your running and everything like that. Papa Paws, that is fine. I, uh... You know, after checking in with your chat earlier today, using that, that 1 to 5 scale and really, really seeing... So, so Papa Paws did something that, uh... I don't know if you guys in my community are comfortable with this. If not, it is totally fine. If you don't want to say it, it's totally fine. But on a uh, scale of 1 to 5, and let's, let's see what emotes I have here. Also, if you're on YouTube, feel free to uh, do this in the comment section below. On a scale of 1 to 5, let me see what emotes we have here. Um, 1 is tilt. Um, Sparkbot is two. Do I have just a mellow normal emote somewhere in here in my default stuff? I don't think I do. Uh, so we're going to go with Rift Wave is three. And Hype equals four. And Blessed equals five. So on a scale of one to five... Uh, one being terrible, five being great. What is what is your mood today uh, in general? Where where am I right now? I'm dropping through here. What what is your mood today, chat? Because Papa did the same thing in his stream, and I it was. What's my dash button? My dash button is X. My dash button is X. Personally, I, I I'm in the hype section. I'm I'm having a four out of five day. You know, but it, it was it was very eye opening seeing the answers in Papa's chat. You having a terrible day, Mika? Why is that? So so game, you go ahead and use game. Go, you can use the number if you prefer game. The, uh, the emotes there are just to kind of give some character to the emotion. 
but it's uh it's something that was just very clear with papa Pa's stream is just that a lot of people right now and i don't know if it's covid i don't know if it's life i don't know what it is but we are all a lot of people are doing pretty bad and and it's important to check out danny's chills around to three Yeah, we don't have an exclamation mark hug command yet, Papa, unfortunately. Uh, we're still... Still figuring a lot of those things out. I can't get to that one. Okay, this is where I was before. I just need to... Fall, grab. Okay. Fall, dash, grab. No! Oh! And of course, if you were on YouTube doing that, you didn't see my emotes, which kind of just expressed the emotion. That was me deflating. We don't have a rift deflate emote yet. But one of these days, we will, uh... We will have one. I don't know when that day will be. But we will. Oh. Which side do I want to go to first? That's the way to come out, okay. Papa, do we actually know a whole lot about what's going on with the Twitch DMCA stuff, or is it still just a complete and total mess? Because a lot of stuff should be in fair use, but Twitch just kind of auto-flags things. Like, I, I know there's been at least a few partner streamers who have had the rights to use stuff but still gotten the uh, copy strikes. It's also one of the reasons for, for those who don't know, I, I very much um, hate Disney and a lot of the uh, lobbyists because copyright has been just getting repeatedly extended indefinitely and I want indefinite copyright to come to an end. Because we really need things to start entering the public domain again. Batman and Superman should both be in the public domain. Devin Nash does provide great info. Okay, that, that was the one that was recommended in uh, in your stream earlier today. One, somebody in chat recommended Devin Nash. Good, good to know. Good to know. Okay, that was the... that area... We now have our move through floors thing. You have enough positive things happening that you can focus on them and be chill about your real life situation, Danny. That is good to hear. That is good to hear. But yeah, chat, something, something I would like to do, and I don't know how, because as most of you know, I am, I am not the person to do it. I am very much the person you come to for where you should go, not for where you are. And to be bad at games. But, uh, maybe we should, maybe we should add a, I just did that again. Maybe we should add a bot command or something to go ahead and share, share a mood, maybe? Share a, how people are doing? And I, I know a lot of you in chat are much more positive people than I am in the sense that uh, you guys actually know how to interact with other human beings. I just sit here and talk to a screen all day. But you guys have some empathy and that sort of thing. Unless your name is Sky, then you don't have empathy. But Sky is not here to properly hear that uh, burn. But that's also a roast for Sky for the next time he redeems a roast. Cool a battery, only two are missing. What am I doing here? I find a battery and here I am, I don't know where. And I can only jump and not use my other abilities. Let's try to find my way out, but I feel I have to be careful about this area. Game Sky is good. Sky would be fine with me. Alrighty, this is this is fun. I'm glad I'm still playing. Ooh. Phew, I six I six I sucked. Can we see can we see that on, on the stream? Do I have to nope no I have to I have to move the uh Oh, stand by guys. Stand by. This is too good not to not to show off. Phew, I sucked. 
this is a translation job for you guys. This right here. Phew, I sucked. The issue is you still haven't discovered what is fair use or if fair use exists. No, fair, fair use is a total mess. And the... Because I've seen issues it with... um. With questions in the dance industry, of course, about how to how do you do like handle fair use and stuff. I've I've seen some local nonprofits say that they're allowed to play dance music because, you know, we're 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 teaching a class, notwithstanding that you're also providing a service in that instance. You know, which, in my mind, should not count as fair use. Uh, game. The reason why Batman is Superman. So so Batman was originally created in the year. Let me go ahead and Google this really quick. We're we're gonna get into this discussion right now. Batman uh, invented, I guess, is gonna be the. Batman debuted in 1939. Batman is 81 years old. Okay. Superman. Oh, Google's not going to tell me until I go into Wikipedia. Superman was June of 1938. So Superman is 82 years old. And, and to put this in context, to put this in context, uh, The Wizard of Oz book was released in 1901, I think. I'm going to be disappointed if I'm wrong on this. Book. What year, what year was the original Wizard of Oz? 19, 1900, not 1901. 1900, my mistake. Um, and it's it's in the 19. It's at the beginning of like what what year? Oh gosh, what's what's the year on copyright? Copyright year 1930s. Uh, is Google going to help me out with this? It's not, but around around somewhere in the 1930s, you run into the point where just copyright has entered perpetual uh, perpetuity, and that shouldn't happen. Because then things never enter in the public domain. Like, the thing you gotta remember is, for example, Disney, who I hate. I detest Disney with a dollar sign S. I still buy some of their stuff, but we, we won't go into that part. Um, Disney, all of Disney's movies and such are based on uh, folklore, folklore stories and, and the old fairy tales. Like, Beauty and the Beast, based on one of the original fairy tales. Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, so on and so forth. All of those, Pinocchio, all of those are based on original fairy tales that existed, and Disney just put their twist on them. Even the, you know, 1939... What, what year is Wizard of Oz movie that I also have strong feelings about? Um, the Wizard of Oz movie. 39? 39. The Wizard of Oz 1939 movie is still uh, trademarked and such to this day. And so... And this is also one of the reasons why Hollywood so rarely does Oz stuff is because it's in public domain. Anyone can make an Oz movie. The things you can't use, you can't use the ruby slippers because the ruby slippers actually weren't from the book. The ruby slippers are actually a change of the movie because it was one of the first movies to be made in color. Uh, did I move my camera back into position? Can I get back to my, <laughs> to my stream while I continue to rant? A chasing scene in the game. Not very original, but it could have been worse if it was a ball and I was wearing a hat. What is that reference? And the, the issue right now, I mean it's it's all about money right now is the issue. And I don't I don't mind people who own intellectual property you know getting their value out of it, but it's at a certain point it needs to enter public domain. Batman and Superman need to be in public domain. The problem is that they are extremely profitable assets, and so their owners don't want them in the public domain. And to that, I give the middle finger. But we're a family-friendly stream, so I just I say that I give the middle finger, and that's that's that. Because here's the thing: I don't I don't think the fans would. I don't think the fans would necessarily like turn to, to fan films or to that sort of thing. I, I think I think that DC would still have its credibility. I think DC would still be able to use Batman and Superman as properties, still make a lot of money being the uh, official productions and such, you know. But that's also my hot take. Here's the problem, game. 
what counts as actively being used? If, 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 for example, if once a year they make like one episode of a Batman cartoon or a Superman cartoon, is that enough to say it's being actively used? You know, Sony is holding on to Spider-Man because every so many years, Sony is required to make a Spider-Man movie or they will lose their rights. What did we end up with? We ended up with a bunch of crappy Spider-Man movies, which, I mean, people debate whether they were crappy or not. But for, for the sake of argument, we're just going to point out that they were not profitable. You know, and, and that likewise is another good example. You know, should Sony have been able to keep the Spider-Man rights for as long as they did? Uh, and I mean, it's, it's a contract negotiation deal and whatnot. It's it's what it is. I should have saw that troll coming. Yeah, I mean, here, here's the other problem: is when when you per, when you repeatedly own the rights to something, you you're not forced to innovate. You're not forced to create new things. And as a you know, people complain about a lack of originality in Hollywood, and that's the reason why, is if you got rid of the copyright, it, basically, if you, if you just start letting things enter the public domain again, like, even, even if you said that, you know, right now, everything from that first year of uh, whichever year, it's, it's 1930-some-odd, some I forget which year it is offhand. If you said that, like, okay, we're just going, we're just going to have the, the date that things are at now be the final year. And things start entering the public domain each year, we're going to see an economic boom like one we've never seen before. Like, people people complain about wealth inequality. The single big... I'm not going to say the single biggest driver, but I want to say the single biggest driver of wealth inequality is those permanent trademarks, those permanent copyrights. No, Mika, I disagree. So here, here's here's why I disagree. Let's let's talk about the Wizard of Oz for a second. There are over a thousand Oz books out there, like that have been published. There are several movies, several series, several different things out there. L. Frank Baum, the original author, only wrote the first fourteen books, but the fans have collectively agreed that the first, I believe, it's forty books, the first four authors, comprise what is the Oz canon. Okay, H.P. Lovecraft is another example. The, the, the Cthulhu Mythos is another example because Chaosium owns some rights to some of the Lovecraft stuff, but not to others. All of Lovecraft stuff is in public domain. That's why you have so many Cthulhu dolls and stuff. But uh, it's August Durlath, I believe, is the other one who, who is responsible for the, the Cthulhu Mythos um, coming together more so. His stuff is not in the public domain. And so you have a company like Chaosium who owns the rights to Durlath's material and is also publishing... Uh, you know, is, is using the Call of Cthulhu, which I don't think it's a trademark, but it might be counted as a trademark, because trademarks are different from copyright in the first place. And, you know, that's that's all stuff that by this point should be in public domain, because the, the reason why Lovecraft stuff is public domain, essentially, is because at that time, and the reason why it com combines with Durlath stuff is because during the 20s, during, during the early 30s, a lot of authors at that time were allowed to borrow each other's stuff. They were allowed to have crossover. Um, this is something that, like, you know, it's, it's kind of relevant to, like, Danny. Danny is busy doing this uh, horror monster cinematic universe. The horror monsters, of course, are all public domain for the most part. Well, for the most part, because all of, the, all of them were created a very long time ago. Certain takes on them are have certain copyright trademark restrictions. But it's one of those cases where you have crossovers like, you know, Frankenstein and Dracula. They're not from the same universe. But in all the years that have gone by, we accept that, like, werewolves and vampires can be in the same universe. We accept that you can add in fairies. We accept that you can pick and choose what stuff you include. I still think that DC, including Batman and Superman in their stories, even if Batman and Superman were public domain, people would still respect the DC stories. But what you would have is you would have several recognized fan films or, or fan productions or whatever that are allowed to make money and that people would love and respect. And suddenly, you don't have the same crappy movies getting produced and released all the time. You don't have the same crappy comic books getting produced and released all the time. You don't have this infinite thing of, you know, Batman is never going to enter the public domain, despite the fact that Batman has been around for 80-some-odd years. Uh, no, game. Legend of Zelda is still uh, relatively new. Copyright is meant to, produ meant to protect stuff within a person's lifetime. Uh, here's the second battery. Second battery. Let's go ahead and get the second battery. 
Damn, I'm back here. I've been out once before. I should be able to do it again. Is that really the exact same? No, it's not. Oh, I... Oh, man. I, I, I have hang time. Ooh, ooh. My jump. Ooh. I lose distance every time. I jump. No. Like here's the, here's the thing, Mario Mario and Zelda and a lot of the, you know, video game properties have not been around very long at all. That's fine. They're supposed to be copyright. They're supposed to be protected so those companies can continue to make money. Like, you've, you've got to remember that, like, some of our great-grandparents were alive when Superman and Batman were created. I imagine if... Imagine if... Like, imagine if you couldn't read your children bedtimes. Imagine if I couldn't... Imagine if you couldn't read Harry Potter on stream because it's still copyrighted. And, I mean, Harry Potter is still relatively new. Imagine if, like... Because here's the thing with, like, DMCA, for example. Somebody who reads, like, Harry Potter on stream, is that breaking uh, DMCA? Now, DMCA is more specific to music and stuff, but Harry Potter is a copyrighted work... In that situation, it's being reproduced by somebody who does not have the rights to it. No, Mika, canon, canon is different. First, first off, canon has no definition. I don't know why it was longer this time. It doesn't make any sense. That's right, little robot dude. Let's uh, call the save point. Let's call it a game. Let's get into our next game.